Hey guys, welcome to another 164 episode and we're at another new mall. This one is called the Pavilion Bukit Jalal. Um, probably didn't pronounce that properly. But we are here just for a very quick visit. Uh, they've got a really big Toys R Us here. So if you're in this area, uh, definitely recommend it. So let's check the new Toys R Us out and maybe some other places as well. Let's go. Toys R Us now. These are some really unique brands. Check this out. Speed City, Your City, Your Rules. This is like nine. Think it. Could be the Hot Wheel sections here with the with some Matchbox mixed in. Matchbox here. The price here is interesting. 37 to so looking at what 12 New Zealand dollars. So okay, it's about there. These really don't sell here in Malaysia. Purple patch and color changes. 20 ringgit. So it's about six, seven dollars. The mainline section is always so empty. It's always fantasy cars. Possibly that um Got collectors within the store taking all the good stuff. So it's like muscle machines mixed in with a random view. This is cool. Dodge Charger muscle machine, 30 ringgit, so it's about eight, nine New Zealand dollars. Oh look, Majorai, Isuzu, D Max, 30, so it's also about, no, oh, probably about 10, 10, 11. I know there's quite a lot of fans for these Majorites, Sorbias, A31s. I think they look okay. 44, so about 13, 14 dollars. Hayden Pattern fans. Yeah, only one muscle machine. Let's see if I can find more. A lot of these blue cities. Um, Behind me is Tommy Car. That before someone there, so just want to show you guys the rest of the Tommy Car station. Look at the premium section here. Tommy Car Premium is a bit more expensive than your regular Tommy Car. So you have Volts Volkswagen, Panel Bus, the Ferrari FXX. But I think the most popular one is always the JDM. You've got the Sora, you get the GTRs. Um, I really, really don't like the the, pre, the GT R50. It's like the ugliest design. What do you guys think? They didn't do a good job. This is cool. Since Skyline 2000. But what I really like about Tommy cars here in Malaysia and Singapore is like these <laughs> weird, wacky things. Like a Snoopy cross house car. That's really cool to kind of open up and review, I would say. They do. Mickey. They also do like a lot of sets, like Japanese import sets. So about 159 ringgit. So about 50 bucks NZ. Which is, you know, not terrible. Look at this. Lamborghini. Cool makes a sound. That's interesting. Ooh, wacky things as well, you know? This Japanese Tommy car. Look, another Japanese import Tommy car. So it's very medic medic. It's like a highest fan turned into an ambulance. <clears throat> I love how much how big the range is. Of oh, the taxis, they always cross. They do collaborations with anime um, as well. So let's see, Mickey. So there's a bit Dory, Doraemon. Um, Phew, that's, that's where my anime knowledge kind of stops. Curious <laughs> George. These are cool, the Tommy car 
the unlimited premiums in a nice little packaging back to the future delorean and you have like the fast and furious kind of style uh, dodge charger dom's charger it doesn't say fast and furious though i wonder if that says it in japanese if you guys know yeah but it's definitely universal so it's licensed or well, it has to be right 59 ringgit so it's about what less than 20 dollars so 18 19 dollars what I really like is these bigger boxes. 143 scale comic cards. How much are they at? 169 ringgit. So about 60 bucks, maybe a bit less. Swing around, and you can see the full range of comic cards. Let's check it out. Buses. The Rare 4. Camrys, Prius, I mean I love comic cards because they do like standard cars and not just ridiculous cars like fantasy cars. So incredible range of just Japanese cars and some European cars, the Ferraris over there. Alright, let's see what else is there. So all the track section is on this side, so not really of interest in my opinion. Uh, so we have like sets for trains, sets for sushi delivery trains as well, directly from Japan, where else? to be your Thomas. Check these out. This is really cool. I got a whole set. 369 ringgit, so about 120 bucks. Um, I think it's totally worth it. It's very hard to find these kind of sets in New Zealand. 379. Check this one out. Peanuts, Snoopy, 141. Such a huge range. City. I feel like they're the Zuru's of Malaysia. Yeah, look at this, it's like scale at tracks racing. So this mall is actually pretty quiet, as you can see, not many people. Even though there's a mask mandate that was removed, I <laughs> still have to carry this around because some shops still won't let you in if he's not wearing a mask. So just keep that in mind if you're visiting Malaysia and you know that the mask mandate has been removed, they still are going to ask you to put the mask on. Anyway, there was a very quick look at this Bukit Jalal Mall, uh, looking for Hot Wheels. If there's any other shops that can find more Hot Wheels, I'll probably put it in here. But I don't think there's a lot. The Toys R Us, there's a shop called Parkson. Uh, Parkson didn't have that many Hot Wheels there, but let's see if, I, if there is more. I'll put it in here. Bukit Jalal in Puchong. Um, quiet mall, but massive, massive mall. Yeah, I think it's quite reasonably new as well. There's still a lot of empty spaces. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys.